Welcome back to Three River Arms and Auto. Today I'm going to be showing you my Christmas Jeep Wrangler. I'll show you what I did, how you can replicate the same things I did, and some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. If you enjoy this video and if you like my Jeep, please like and subscribe. These really help the channel. Thank you. So let's start in the front. As you can obviously see, I have this nice candy cane decoration, and I bought this at Walmart, and it's just held on using one zip tie that goes through the grill. And you can also see that I have this strand of lights that is on that, that wraps around the whole hood and bumper. And I'll show you how that works. Now that we're inside the Jeep, I can show you how I got these front lights to work. So I have them plugged into my USB port right here in the front. And then the strand of lights I got is actually a curtain strand, but it came with this nice remote here that I can change the lights to any color I want. Right now I have it on asymmetric jump because I think it looks very cool and it's very Christmassy. But as you can see, you can choose from a variety of colors and different modes and you can even have different timing and different speeds of the lights. So I recommend something like this because it's very cool how you can customize any color you want. Here, let's try red. Let's try green, blue, and then all of them at once. So you may be wondering, how do I have this plugged in right here and have the lights outside? Well, I'll show you that right now. You can see how I have the cord running from my center console down under my floorboard. And then if you look under here, if you look past the snow, you can see the cord. It goes from right there. And then you can see the cord right there. It actually goes under my floorboard. There's a little vent that all Jeeps have that I ran the cord up through that and so it's plugged in. So if I wanna turn these off, all I gotta do is just hit the button for off and they'll stay off. Now, as you can see, the car is not on and yet the lights will still work. And this is because that in the new Jeeps, these outlets right here all get power even when the vehicle's off, which is really, really cool. So I can have this parked and have the lights on. Now, let me show you how I have these connected. After it runs through the seal of the vent under my mat, it runs up along this way. Since it is a curtain strand, there is one main strand with little strands coming off of it. So I have the main strand running up here and then running across right there, all the way to the other side of my hood. And then every single strand that comes off the main strand, I have running this way and hooked onto the bumper. And then I also have one that runs up onto the top of the vehicle along the windshield. And I found that on the windshield, I had to take them on like this. Otherwise it would just rattle too much on the road. And I also had to put little felt strips on some of the places where the lights made contact with the car because it was causing little scratches, which I do not want on my new vehicle. And basically what I had to do was find places to zip tie as you can see, there's a zip tie there. Zip tie each strand on. So I used the latches, many places on my bumper. I used these things right here, perfect spot to zip tie. And I also used some mounting points that I made up on the top. I'll cover that later. So these are just, that's just one idea for if you wanted to put Christmas lights on your Jeep. I know there are plenty of other ideas and other videos online that you can watch. I also have more lights that I'll show you right now. Here's the back decorations I have on the back. So first you can see I covered my whole spare tire in a garland and then I wrapped the garland with a strand of lights. And then I also found this awesome snowflake decoration. This is what the snowflake decoration looks like at night when it's all lit up. And this snow, it's actually real snow. That's not a decoration I have, but it does look very good on the spare tire. Now you may be wondering about these lights I have in the back and on top of the Jeep. And these 
I can show you only are on when the Jeep is on, unlike the ones that I have on the hood. I can show you how that all works. So the ones that I have on the door, I just have loosely here, which is kind of annoying because if I want to open my door all the way, I have to unplug it, but it's just a minor inconvenience. And then the snowflake light I have connected right here. And it goes, I have it wrapped around all the way through my roll bar. And both strands of lights are plugged into this extension cord right here. And then this extension cord is just a normal extension cord that has two outlets on it. I have that plugged into my, to the back of the center console, which I can show you here. And the extension cord I have running under the seats and then back behind the seat belt around the roll bar a little bit, just so I have some of the slack out and then zip tied very well right here. And then from this, I have my snowflake plugged in right here that I already showed you goes around here. And then I have my normal strand of lights plugged into the bottom one. And I have that just slipped right through here, utilizing the Jeep's um, seals here to help get the lights outside. And then another challenge I found was it was very hard for me since I had the one touch power top it was very hard for me to find a way to attach these lights here. And so what I ended up doing was I ran paracord. I ran three strings of paracord, basically this way over the Jeep and then under through it, which I can show you again. This is the one I have on the back. And the way I ran this through was I took out these back windows which is a cool feature of the one touch power top. I took those off, ran the paracord through like this. And that gave me my first mounting point, which I then zip tied my lights to. I have another one right here, the rear door. I just have this one running through the door and then across there, through the other door that gave me a second mounting point for my lights and the thing i should mention about this having it on the door like this will allow some water to get through it's not much if it's raining for a long period of time there may be a little bit of water that gets into your jeep but i find this has been okay because all the interior is waterproof anyway and then the final strand that i have of paracord to make another mounting point actually goes through the one touch power top itself. So I opened up the power top and had the core running through both ends. And then I closed the power top very carefully, making sure that it would allow for me to later tie my paracord. And that paracord I have hidden nicely above my visor that I never see anyway. And that allows for this mounting point. So this was the way that I was able to put Christmas lights and Christmas decorations on my Jeep. I have been driving around with these decorations installed on my Jeep for almost a month now. And I will say that it does add more road noise than what you would normally have, but it's not a considerable amount more. And I have taken this on highways, although that is very rare. The way I have this set up, it works perfectly fine on highways for short periods of time. I should also mention that you should never drive with lights like this on while you're on public roads because this is a distraction to other drivers and it could create a dangerous situation. But if you guys have other ideas or other ways that you have found work to put decorations on your Jeep, I would love to hear them in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Bye. Let's see how she does. Now that we're inside the Jeep, I can show you how I got the front lights to work. Uh.